it's Yaila and my very good friend, Macy. Macy is here to share her insights on the human design, the energy for the year. And um, she's so brilliant, I personally think, because she doesn't just look at the individual energy, but she can really see the whole complete picture. So I love how she puts together the information. But Macy, I'll turn it to you. Thanks for, for joining me. <laughs> Thank you for your invitation, Yaila. It's always good to see you. And we always have the energy exchange when we chat and, and I love that invitation and thank you for that. And um, thank you for everyone who's joining us today. And it's my pleasure to meet you and also sharing my uh, insights for this year. I use human design to help me out, like not talking about predictions. It's like uh, talking about like some preparations that we may need to uh, aware of how's the cosmic energy surrounding by us and how we can make the decision on whether we would like to have a ride on the energy or we understand that some of the energy is an illusion for us and then we can take the decision whether we want to discern it or we want to take it and uplifting that. So, um, so I have made the topic for today. Um, 2021 is a year of calling your focus. And, and there's a huge theme about discernment and also suffering. So let's start. Okay. <laughs> and Macy, when you talk about, you know, I feel like I personally have a good grasp on what discernment means, right? It's, it's being able to choose I think of it as like an alignment, right? How would you describe severing? Oh, severing. Severing is, is like, you know, uh, some people would uh, determine it as dismantle and dump it, that like uh, give up something. But then why I use severing this word particularly for this year, because some of the energy and also the incident happened to us is like a survival skill that there's not much time for us to um to make the decision it's like you have to cut it right away okay and make sure it's not interfering your energy at all okay so is is your is is helping you to take this habit how to respond things with your instinct okay because like in the past year, I think that a lot of people has encountered a year that has been a lot of thinking, a lot of like uh, um, um, digesting analysis because you don't really know what information you should trust. Okay, so that's a uh, that's like um, because of the scientific um, educations that we've been brought up with. That's always ask us to. Um, um, take analysis, collect the data, and then make the decision in that way. And it took a long process in that. But this year, the energy is a little bit different. And you got to understand right now, after uh, 2020, we found out particularly from uh, like uh, some information that we get from the news, get from the social environment, or like uh, social media, it's not particularly true to you or even true to the fact, okay? So one day, like in January, you take in, in, taking in this kind of information. In February, they, they flip around and say, oh, it's not the case anymore. And then in March, they give you another information and, and override everything they said in January and February. So this year in 2021, it, it, because of the exercise and the practice that we have in 2020, I felt like, like if you align to the truth of yourself, you realize that, oh, in fact, I should trust my instinct more. And this year is that calling. And there will be a lot of chances for you to understand how powerful your instinct could be. I love that. And, you know, and I think that's why our chats always make me so excited, Macy, and, and you know, everybody listening who follows my page, and now you can connect with Macy too. It's, 
you know, that intuitive side, I feel like is always such a missing piece. So I'm excited we have a lot more opportunity this year for that. Because of the discernment, then it will push you to the suffering. The suffering that, why? Because the instinct is always coming just in that moment. And you have to make the decision already. And that yeah. is the mostly aligned with you. And in which causing the action that you take will help you to shape your path with alignments too. That's so great. I've even noticed some of that stir up, you know, just with myself where um, I'm choosing between, you know, a couple different things. And I just look at it, I'm like, do I have the energy for this? Yes, no, it just... And I love that word that you use, alignment. It's one of my favorites. Like, does this feel in alignment? Not that it's good or bad or right or wrong, but does is this in alignment for me? If it feels like a yes, then I go. If there's like a question, if it's not a complete yes, then it's a no. And I'm like, okay, then it's a no, done. So for the tools that I use, let me jump to the second page, is, is human design chart. I'm so into human design, the foundation chart, the, the calculations is very precise and give me a lot of insights every single time. And it's fascinating. I love the tools. Um, and this year, um, so human design has um, um, a different year start. They start around January, either like 20, 21st or 22nd every year. So this year, uh, the wave new year, we technically call new year is on January 21st. I will just briefly uh, have an introduction here. Humanist design is a synthesis tools that uh, we use uh, Jewish uh, Kabbalah, uh, Indian chakra, quantum physics, Western and Eastern astrologies calculations and combine together. In the chart, you see there are nine centers that we, we, we uh, in a human design, like um, from top to bottom, like the yellow one that you see on the chart is, is our crown uh, or hat, hat center. And then come down, there's an ashna throat, G sensor, which is the like a diamond in the center, and then it moves to the right and the left as well. Uh, the uh, solar plexus and my our spleen, our heart, and then down we have the uh, uh, we have the root, and also we have our sacral. The sacral is in between the the G center and the root. So this year, um, cut it in short, uh, we have four centers being colored. Uh, what does it mean? By being colored, that means we have sustainable energy in that center. So this year, the head, the, uh, the head or the crown, and the ashna, our third eye over here, have sustainable energy. And that is the key theme that I've talked about, the discernment and also the suffering. I will discuss that later on. And also we have another uh, two, a sustainable center, which is our root and also our solar plexus. So the root is something about like how, how, um, how we energize ourselves spontaneously. And also the solar plexus is more uh, talking about our emotion. So you can see this year, there's a quite a large split. Okay, the split between the sustainable energy in the head over here and also the sustainable energy down from the bottom. So there's a split, there's a split. Uh, that means like the throat, it seems that they don't have the sustainable energy and then we may have a moment of losing our directions. We don't know what we love and we just lost our pace and temple on how to work properly. But at the same time, uh, anything which is not colored is the center that we are going to derive our, our wisdom. So it's not something that, um, um, oh, okay, uh, we, we don't have the sustainable energy in that. This is not the case. It's those energy or those centers require more time to rest more time to digest um, the energy that, that intaking. So one of the things that I would suggest you, all of you to uh, 
take a look on focus on this year is like maybe wait for the right moment to speak, right moment to act, right moment to prove yourself and not trying to push yourself into a certain direction specifically. Like, because as I said, like this year, there's a lot of instinct and the alignment between you from the crown to the universe is much, much intense in 2021. So we will have a lot of chances to understand, wow, in fact, if I let go myself and not to Cope, uh, shape myself into a certain direction. In fact, I, lo I got lots and lots of inspirations and the instinct that is way more aligned to what I've been hoping for. So this is the main theme. And I'll also, I will talk about the, the channel in between this gate 61 and 24 later. But this is the core, core cosmic energy. Trust yourself that the universe this year particularly with Pluto, with the blast, uh, Pluto blessing, we will find more and more about our inner truth and how we are able to get more downloads, more instinct is being truth to ourselves more, okay? Mm -hmm.